stick with www.lawmanguitars.com. Hey, have I got a really cool and very unusual guitar for you today. Uh, when I walked in with this today, I told Brian, I said, I'll bet you've never seen one like this, and I'll bet you guys haven't seen one like this either. This is a 1967 Dan Electro Coral Vincent Bell Combo. Now that's a lot to describe this guitar, but uh, they only made these guitars from 1967 through 1969. It was during that period when Dan Electro had, uh, had started putting parts together after they had kind of shut down. Vincent Bell was still designing guitars and saying, well, let's put this one with this one and this one with this one. Uh, these were the guys out of uh, Neptune, uh, New Jersey, I believe, yeah. And uh, so this would be a, a 1967 or the first year that they put out the combo. Now the guitar is just gigantic. I mean, it just it makes me look like a little peanut back here, but it's a 17 inch wide body. Uh, it's 42 inches long. Uh, however, it's only got a 25 inch scale neck, so it's gonna feel like all the other guitars that you wanna have, but it's got a nice big one and three quarter inch nut. Uh, so you big handed guys are gonna really, really like it. Although the neck is not overly fat. I mean, it's not a baseball bat neck at all. Uh, it's actually kind of a nice shallow uh, I would call it a shallow C neck on it, uh, so it feels really good, but it's got the oil impregnated um, bronze nut on it, which I think is so cool on these guitars uh, that Dano built. And it's got, of course, the uh, double line uh, Cluson tuners on the back. It's got the uh, really cool bridge. It's a modified bridge like they used on the convertibles. Uh, it's got the three uh, set screws in it which should help lower and raise it uh, and uh, side to side as well. Very simple but very effective but uh, it, it looks a lot like the convertible bridge. Uh, it's got of course the lipstick peak pickups which just ugh, they sound amazing. Uh, cool old Dano knobs. It's got the coral tail piece. Uh, of course the Vincent Bell combo pick guard and when we took this thing out of the case uh, it's just it's a, a remarkably clean guitar. Uh, I don't think this guitar had been hardly played at all. Uh, when you look at the frets it's like you know what someone bought this guitar and stuck it in the case. They really did not play this guitar hardly at all which is a shame because it's just a absolutely marvelous marvelous guitar and it's very unusual. It's got of course a sound hole so it, it kind of patterned a lot of the guitars they were building back then that had uh, certain people were uh, were sponsoring those round sound hole uh, guitars that had the P90s and some humbuckers in them. This was Vincent Bell's uh, idea to do uh, a coral like that and uh, I think it just turned out great. I love the, uh, the uh, Florentine cutaway that it has on it and this sunburst body. I mean and it's just absolutely beautiful. Uh, very flamey back. Hope we can catch this. Uh, this back is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, goodness great. You know, I guess that is book match. I thought for it was a single piece there for a minute, but it's not. And it's got this thing in here which uh, actually raises and lowers the trying to remember what this did. Yes, it raises and lowers the bridge so you can get some extra uh, height and, and uh, depth for your, your bridge. So this actually adjusts that up and down. And it does have a, a bolt-on neck uh, and a micro adjustment. So, I mean, there's a lot of technology in this. Oh, look at this. This is how we dated it. It's got uh, this uh, from Neptune City, New Jersey, uh, a division of MCA Inc. Patent pending, Dan Electro. It has a serial number on here which we were able to date it from. So anyway, just an absolutely marvelous guitar. Uh, our tech set it up and it, it just plays great. I don't think he had to do hardly uh, much at all. And if I'm not... I think we put 11s on this just because it was a big body and, and wanted to give it a little more oomph on the string. So... I would, I would use 10s or 11s. Uh, I would not go any, you might put 9s on it, but I really don't think this big guitar is going to respond well with 9s, but you know, prove me wrong, okay? So anyway, let's hear how this guitar sounds. I'm on the uh, neck position only, uh, and my favorite position on this is the two together. We'll get there in just a minute, but anyway. Very nice and mellow, very hollow body sounding.
pickup sounds good. Let's go to the middle position. <laughs> playing an F sharp. That sounds good. Well, I can tell it's a one and three quarter inch nut. My fingers are having a hard time grabbing them. Let's go all the way to the back. Boy, that's a really distinctive sound. It's, uh, it's, it's, boy, it's, it's thin but cool. pickup is really strong. Front. Very woody sound. Wow, what a cool guitar. Um, you know what? I was thrilled to death when I got this guitar. Absolutely thrilled. But I can't tell you how excited I was when I opened the box up and looked at what they sent this guitar in. It's just incredible. We got the original hard shell case with this guitar. Now, at first I thought, well, okay, you know, that's kind of a cool case. It's, it's got all that alligator on it. And you know what? The case is just as nicely unused as that guitar. It's just incredible. All the latches are on it, uh, original handles on it. Uh, and I open it up and it's like, what have we got here? Oh my goodness, it's an s, &S case. Now, for those of you who don't know, the luggage people made cases for the guitar players uh, back then. Uh, there was uh, uh, Lifton, there was s, &S there was uh, uh, Strong as a Fortress, I can't remember which one, a stone case, that's what it was. And there were luggage guys, and they were making luggage for, uh, for people. And of course, you know, they were using Tolex and leather and all kinds of stuff. They knew how to do that stuff, so they were hired to make cases. s, &S is one of the finest case makers they had back in the 60s and this one is marked with an s, &S right inside the case but when you open this thing up it's like holy smokes uh, i mean this would have uh, probably have worked for a gibson guitar as well but the fact that it came original with that dan electro just speaks to how highly thought of Vin vincent bell was about that guitar uh, the accessory box is all here uh, as well the uh, latch Covers are covered with the plush, the accessory uh, box lid, accessory uh, strap is still on it. I mean, it's just an incredible, incredible uh, case. Now, if that wasn't enough, let's see, we've got the perfect guitar. We've got the beautiful case. Look what else was in here. I just, I couldn't believe it when I got this. 
Let's see, how about a Dan Electro original registration card that was in the case? How about a hang tag, the guitar played by America's leading recording artist, Coral Guitars? This is just, it's nuts. I mean, this is, all this stuff in here came with this guitar to me, and I was just so uh, blown away. Here's your uh, bridge and neck adjustment tools uh, in the little <laughs> manila envelope. And what do we got in here? Probably, uh, oh yeah, case key. It's never been opened. <laughs> so you get, uh, I'm sorry, it has been opened. There's your case key in there. Uh, so you get all this incredible case candy with this guitar, a beautiful s, &S case, and an absolutely gorgeous guitar. Uh, I really uh, had uh, every intention of keeping this guitar myself. I think uh, for those of you that saw my demos last month, you heard me say, yeah, I've got 33 guitars, I need to start divesting myself. This was one that was really hard for me to say, I think I probably need to sell this guitar. I've owned this guitar for a long time, uh, and uh, it, it just it's just not going to get played at my, uh, at my place, it's just not. Uh, so I want to get this in the hands of someone who will really, really appreciate it. That could maybe be you. So anyway, check out all of our really cool guitars at www.lawmanguitars.com. And hey, while you're sitting here watching me on YouTube, there's a subscribe button just below that. Hit that subscribe button, and every month you're going to get five new demos from me. Uh, we send them out weekly now. We used to just send them out in mass uh, once uh, a month. Now we're doing them weekly. I think everybody seems to be getting into that. So every week you're going to see a brand new guitar from Lawman, and believe me, it's going to be a cool guitar. I will guarantee you that. So thanks a lot for watching my demo, and I appreciate you all so very much. Thank you.